Hello there. My team ID is SG1718. My name is Calvin, and this is my Cold Space Rescue presentation. I'm from Chunga Primary School. I participated in the 2019 RoboCup Asia Pacific Challenge. I competed in the Cold Space Grand Prix First Steps U12 category with a friend, and we won third place. The summary of my preliminary challenge. I am competing in the Cold Space Rescue U12 category. Since this is my first time competing in a Cold Space Rescue category, I had to investigate the problem of saving time as my robot made unnecessary actions when it was fully loaded. I used some strategies to allow the robot to deposit with more ease and turn at the right angle to go to the deposit box when it was fully loaded. In the end, I managed to save time and earn more points. There are two main strategies I used in this competition. My first strategy was using the loaded objects variable and taking advantage of traps. When the robot is fully loaded, it will stop collecting objects. This applies to all objects, including super objects. The robot will only avoid trap if it has more than zero objects. For example, if a robot is fully loaded and tries to pick up an object, it will ignore it and continue forward. But if the robot is not loaded with any objects, it will not attempt to avoid trap and will continue looking for objects. Here's the algorithm. As you can see, if the loaded objects is equal to 1 through 5, then it will collect objects and avoid trap. But if it equals, equals to 6, then it will ignore objects and avoid trap and try attempt to look for deposit boxes. If the loaded objects is equal to 0, then it will collect objects but ignore traps. My second strategy involved taking advantage of the deposit boxes. When one side of the robot detects the deposit box, the robot will turn to, into the respective direction of that side to enter the deposit box. For example, when the right side of the robot detects the deposit box, the robot will turn to the right side and into the deposit box. The robot will also only deposit if it has more than zero objects and will ignore the deposit box if it has no objects. As you can see from the algorithm, if both color sensors detect the deposit box, then it will check if the amount of loaded objects is more than zero. If it's more than zero, it will deposit objects. If not, it will ignore the deposit box and look for and collect objects. But if both color sensors do not detect the deposit box, then it will, it will see if one of them detect the deposit box. If one of the color sensors detect the deposit box, then the robot will turn towards the side of the corresponding color sensor. And this will allow it to enter the deposit box and deposit objects more easily. Debugging. Although I had finished writing my code, there were still problems when I ran the program. For debugging, I checked all the lines of code to make sure there were no there were not any discrepancies. I also used the debugging tool to make sure the variables I was using in my code were corresponding to the robot's response. My conclusion and further work. At the end of the two games I've competed in, I managed to save time and earn more points, proving that my strategies work. If I could have used another method like wayfinding, maybe I could have earned more points. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, and I will this Saturday, I would definitely include the wayfinding and double point strategy to earn more points. Learning experience. From this competition, I've learned to use simple methods such as variables to save time and earn more points during the game. The Robocop Cospace Rescue 2021 has allowed me to gain more experience and knowledge in Cospace Rescue and C programming. I think that the Robocop Challenge is a wonderful competition as it helps you build up resilience through trial and error, and also allows us to learn more about coding and its importance. Thank you for listening!